Good evening, sisters and brothers. A very warm welcome to all of you to today's devotion to St. Anthony. Let us begin. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Heavenly Father, the cross has become synonymous with Christians around the world. It reminds us of our Christian identity in your Son. As we gather in your presence, we are reminded of your Son's great love for us when he died and rose for us. St. Anthony, whom you have graced the Church with belief in the power and efficacy of the cross, may we live out the new life won by Jesus and become a people of the resurrection to the glory of your name. We make this prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. Let us pray to God our Creator, the source and author of all holiness, who has given salvation in Christ. Lord, hear our prayer as we honor you in Saint Anthony. Guide our world leaders to seek the way of peace and assist our brothers and sisters who are oppressed. Lord, hear our prayer as we honor you in St. Anthony. Look with kindness on those who have not had the gospel shown to them or who have lost their way. Lord, hear our prayer as we honor you in St. Anthony. Help those who are poor, who have no food or homes, who seek work. Lord, hear our prayer as we honor you in St. Anthony. Heal the sick and depressed. Let the lonely know the comfort of your love. Assist all in need of your mercy. Lord, hear our prayer as we honor you in St. Anthony. Lord Jesus, bind us to you and to our neighbor with love. May our hearts not be turned away from you. May our souls not be deceived, nor our talents of mind enticed by the moments of error, so that we may never distance ourselves from your love, so that we may love our neighbor as ourselves with strength, wisdom, and gentleness. With your help, you who are blessed throughout all ages. Amen. A reading from the second book of the Remembrance of the, of the Desire of a Soul by Thomas Celano, Chapter 4. When the Christian army was besieging Demeta, the holy man of God was there with his companions since they had crossed the sea in their favor for martyrdom. 
When the holy man heard that our forces were preparing for war, on the day of battle he grieved deeply. He said to his companion, If the battle happens on this day, the Lord has shown me that it will not go well for the Christians. But if I say this, they will take me for a fool, and if I keep silent, my conscience won't leave me alone. What do you think I should do? His companion replied, Father, don't give the least thought to how people judge you. This wouldn't be the first time people took you for a fool. Unburden your conscience and fear God rather than man. The saint leapt to his feet and rushed to the Christians, crying out warnings to save them, forbidding war and threatening disaster. But they took the truth as a joke. They hardened their hearts and refused to turn back. They charged, they attacked, they fought, and then the enemy struck back. In that moment of battle, filled with suspense, the holy man bade his companion get up to look. The first and the second time he got up, he saw nothing. So Francis told him, told him to look a third time. What a sight! The whole Christian army was in retreat, fleeing from the battle, carrying no triumph but shame. The massacre was so great that between the dead and the captives, the number of our forces was diminished by 6,000. Compassion for them drove the holy men no less than regret for what they had done overwhelmed them. He wept especially for the Spaniards. He could see their boldness in battle had left only a few of them alive. Here ends the readings. Thanks be to God. Brothers and sisters, the reading today remind me the story of Francis of Assisi and the Islamic Sultan of Egypt, Al-Malik Al-Kamil. This meeting took place at the Meta in northern Egypt during the progress of the fifth crusade of the fifth crusade. For perhaps three weeks, a religious dialogue took place between Francis and Al Kamil, after which time the Sultan had Francis escorted safely back to the Christian camp. It is possible to discern from the writings of Saint Francis after his return from Egypt, that the meeting had a deep religious impact upon him in the latter years of his life. It can be said that both Francis and al Kamil experienced through their con encounter as a conversion into a new horizon. The historical encounter between Francis and the Sultan witnesses the fact that true religious conversion Members of different religious faith can arrive at a common vision of universal peace and reconciliation. When I reflect on this reading, the word they hardened their heart and refused to turn back struck me. What does this verse mean? I will say that a person decides whether to accept God or not. God will always be there to call us and welcome us. He calls each one of us. However, the decision to accept Him is, is ours to make. The decision to welcome Him or to harden our hearts towards Him is a decision that is our, ours to make. Christ wants us to follow Him wholeheartedly. If we don't, it's like not following him at all. The story about St. Francis and the Sultan al Kamil reminds us not to hurt our hearts to God. 
Welcoming God brings great rewards. Welcoming God brings peace. Welcoming God brings healing. We are asked to listen and hear God's voice calling us and are encouraged to allow Him to be God in our lives. If our hearts are closed, we are going against God. If we do not recognize Him and believe in Him, we are not working with Him. We are against Him. We cannot receive all He wants to give us. If we continue to harden our hearts and not listen to His voice in our lives, we might just find ourselves very far from Him. May we always allow ourselves to be, cha to be changed and make Him God in our lives and not be hard-headed hard -headed person whose heart is far from Him. If you ask for miracles, death, error, all calamities, the leprosy and demons fly, and health succeed infirmities. The seal bays and fetters break, and lifeless limbs you do restore, while treasures lost are found again, when young and old aid implore. All dangers vanish at your prayer, and deepest needs are cared for too. Let those who know your power proclaim that all Christians say, These are of you. The seal obeys and fetters break, and life is limbs you do restore, while treasures lost are found again, when young and old aid implore. To the Father, Son, may glory be, and Holy Spirit eternally. The seal obeys and fetters break, and lifeless limbs you do restore, while treasures lost are found again, when young and old aid implore. Pray for us, St. Anthony, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. God, our loving Father, you are glorified in your servant, St. Anthony, whose glory is the crowning of your gifts to him. In his life on earth, you give us an example. In our prayer communion with him, you give us his friendship. In his prayer for the church, you give us strength and protection. We praise and thank you, Lord, for these benefits. Through Jesus Christ, your Son. Amen. Holy Saint Anthony, you are the consolation of so many people. We come to invoke your help confident of experiencing your goodness and power. Pray for us to the Father of mercies, that we may obtain the graces we need for ourselves and for our loved ones. My dear friends, knowing that we are loved and sustained by Jesus, let us entrust all of our needs to his gracious care. We rely on St. Anthony intercession to support this, our prayers. Let our response to each petition be, pray for us. This week, we have received three thanksgiving letters and 136 petitions. 12 for deceased, 29 seeking employment, 11 praying for their family members, 21 for financial aid, 13 praying for good health, 10 for relationship, 23 for spiritual well-being, 13 praying for the world, and 4 praying for vocations. God, whose infinite kindness is beyond us, hear the prayers of your sons and daughters as they seek your help. For our Holy Father, our bishops and priests, and for our missionaries, that as they continue 
the work of proclamation with all its challenges, that they may have the joy of help in their work and the conversion of many. Saint Anthony, pray for us. For the oppressed and those people who are without hope and resources, that the inter international community may come to their aid and help them recover and thrive again. Saint Anthony, pray for us. For all who are suffering, those we love and those who are most forgotten, that the waves of light and healing that radiate impelled by the spirit of love may break upon the shore of every desolate heart. Saint Anthony, pray for us. For doctors and medical personnel who continue the work of Jesus in their healing ministry, especially during this time of pandemic, that the grace of God's divine power may, may anoint their effort to restore the sick to health. Saint Anthony, pray for us. For vocations, that many more young people may come to hear the promptings of the Lord. Saint Anthony, pray for us. For all who are experiencing new, new stirrings in their lives, calls to change and growth, movements of repentance. Saint Anthony, pray for us. For all of us who continue to prepare for the Feast of Pentecost, that our prayerful vigil of waiting for the descent of the Holy Spirit may create a channel of longing, attracting His fire into our hearts. Saint Anthony, pray for us. Let us now bow our heads and remember in silence our own personal intentions and the intentions of those who have asked for our prayers. Saint Anthony, pray for us. For our faithful departed ones, that they may share completely in the joys of Jesus established forever in the kingdom of heaven. Saint Anthony, pray for us. True follower of Saint Francis, you put into our hearts the flame of your love, that we may love our merciful Father in heaven and our neighbor as ourselves. Pray that we may fulfill the will of God and live the way Jesus shows us in the Gospel. Be a guide for us this day, that we may recognize the opportunities God gives us to be helping and caring. Assist us in keeping the promises we made at our baptism. Help us to obtain the grace, to walk in the light of faith, and to proclaim that faith by the way we live. Amen. Saint Anthony, light of the church, lover of God's law, and doctor of the gospel. Pray for us to the Son of God. Having offered up our petitions and needs before the all-loving and merciful God, let us with grateful heart thank Him as we pray. We thank you, Father, for giving us Saint Anthony, who lived the gospel life so faithfully through his intercession. May the good news of Christ inspire us to build up your kingdom and make the world a more fitting place for all to live. With Saint Anthony, we praise and bless you forever and ever. Amen. Together with Christians of all ages, 
Let us pray to the Father in the word that Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Heavenly Father, the grace of new lives come by way of entrusting our life into your Son's hands. Our Lord Jesus Christ has shown us how to carry our daily cross with hope as it is the sign of our victory. May St. Anthony, who constantly put to flight the enemy of mankind by making the sign of the cross on his forehead, be an example for us when we sign ourselves in the name of the Trinity. By this, we enter into your presence as we go about our day, conscious of your abiding love. We make this prayer in your Son's most precious name. Amen. Amen. Bow your head and ask for God's blessing. May the Lord bless you and keep you. Amen. May the Lord let his face shine upon you and have mercy on you. Amen. May the Lord look upon you with kindness and give you his peace. Amen. And may the Lord bless us, the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, Amen. Amen. We adore you. Most holy Lord Jesus Christ, here and all your churches throughout the world, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Thank you, brothers and sisters, for joining us this evening. Have a good evening, take care, and God bless.